Mehdi Hassan, you have stated that us Aussies have less to worry about than other Western nations. What makes you believe this? And as a journalist, what's your take on Islamophobia as it is promoted by news, social media and other types of info information outlets? Mehdi. Wow, two big questions. Thank you. I assume your question about less to worry about is to do with terrorism, which I wrote about last week for ABC. Mm. Um, look, terrorism, I came to Australia to speak at the Crescent Institute, which is a thought leadership networking group in Sydney, and I spoke in Sydney, Melbourne last week. And what I said last week, and I'll say to you all, is this. Terrorism is a deadly threat to our society, no doubt about it, to many of us in this room. Uh, but it's not an existential threat to our society, and it's not something we should spend our entire focus, our energy, our resources, obsessing over, worrying over. I don't think we should live in perpetual fear of the next terrorist attack, because, partly because terrorist attacks are thankfully extremely rare, but also because that's what the terrorists want. The whole purpose of terrorism is to terrorise. It's to spread fear and paranoia and suspicion and division, uh, to provoke an overreaction, Terry mentioned it earlier. And I think, you know, to make us do crazy things like invade Iraq or set up Guantanamo Bay, which just leads to more recruits for the terrorists. So my view is if you really want to defeat the terrorists, don't play their game. Don't live in fear. Don't live in panic and terror. Recognise the threat. It is a threat. But, you know, five Australians have been killed on Australian soil over the past 20 years. That's five too many. But that's fewer, far fewer than are killed in road traffic accidents, in cases of domestic violence. Uh, as I wrote in my piece last week, you're more likely, the statistics show, you're more likely to be killed falling out of bed in the morning in Australia than to be killed by a terrorist later in the day.